Welcome to Catholic Views. I'm your host, Renee Kranz. On today's show, we're going to have a little bit of a repeat for some people. And some people have not heard this episode before. It's very confusing. So last weekend, um, if you're listening on radio, last weekend we had a little bit of technical problems with RPR. So they ran a rerun. Um, Kello, however, Kello AM, if you listen to Catholic Views on Kello AM, you heard the episode we're going to play again this weekend so that our RPR listeners can hear it. So to make up for you having to hear it again, I don't want you to leave after we're done with Biblical Bites and not hear the interview again. So we have a special deal going on. Mm. Uh-huh. Dr. B is intrigued. So if you listen to the interview again, and even if you're listening to it the first time, you still get to play too. Count up how many times we say St. Vincent de Paul, because we are going to be talking to Kathy Crisp and Brenda Wurzel from St. Vincent de Paul about what they do, uh, who they are. They're, it's this great organization, and they are building a an additional, a new thrift store on the west side of Sioux Falls. So count up how many times you hear this. We've already gotten this okayed through them, so they're all good. (laughs) Count up how many times you hear St. Vincent de Paul. Email me, Renee Kranz, rkranz at sfcatholic.org with your guess or your know-for-sure number, whoever gets it right, or the closest will get a $20 gift card to the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. I bet you can do a lot with $20 at the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. The, fir- the first person to get it right? <laughs> yes. The first person or... to get it right. I only have one. <clears throat> so count them up. Email me. And we will, if you're the winner, we'll get you. Do you know what it is? I do did, not. Did I have count? to go back and oh. watch yet. <laughs> I got a few days <laughs> as we're recording. So first, now that I've taken up for two minutes, Dr. Bergwald, he is here with Biblical Bites with Dr. B. So we'll dive right in because... Okay. You took my time. I'm sorry. Uh, no Important you're stuff. No, here. you're not. Uh, it's the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Yes. As I mentioned last week, coming down to it, coming down to the wire. Mm-hmm. 31st Sunday is the last Sunday in Ordinary Time. So many of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. But that's in three weeks. Um, I mentioned how, y- if you pay attention, the readings, especially the second reading and also the gospel, are turning towards sort of apocalyptic ish. Mm-hmm eschatological-ish mm-hmm. like, uh, end times things. Um, G- so the gospel for today is Matthew 23. This is where Jesus, he's in Jerusalem. Um, this is basically be Holy Week. Uh, and he is, um, he's starting to give it to the Pharisees and the scribes <laughs> um, and calling them to account, not for their necessarily, at least in this reading, not so much for their um, false teaching okay. as for their hypocrisy. Oh, okay. They're failing to practice what they preach. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's something that I want to just highlight and kind of the, one of the things I like to do with Biblical Bites, Dr. B, is sort of explain the things that maybe we hear or always hear, but like, what the heck is that? Right. Uh, in the middle of, so this, the reading is Matthew 23, 1 through 12. Um, so this is probably around verse 3 or 4, maybe 5. All their works are performed to be seen, says Jesus about the scribes and Pharisees. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. Renee Kranz, Elise. <laughs> oh, I think I know, I know what the tassels I think is. What is, all right, we'll, we'll go with it. What's a tassel? Uh, <laughs> What's a tassel? Isn't you, that something with their prayer tassels on the side, on their garment, and there's something about how the length of them that, uh, ah. Okay, all right, and phylacteries, either of you? I don't know. Elise. Do you want an educated guess? No, we don't have time. <laughs> uh, so the phylacteries were little. So yes, ta- a tassel is a tassel. In Numbers chapter fifteen, Moses told the Israelites to wear tassels as a reminder of the commandments that the Lord had given through him. Right. Phylacteries are little boxes that when Jews pray, they wear on their foreheads right. or their hand or their arm with some scriptures in there as a reminder to pray. That's what those two things are. Uh, I wish we had more time for that. I'm sorry I took up all your time, Dr. B. 